Okay, we are at the Lowe's and uh, this is what we use for the uh, tag leg. Steaks. Yeah, steak. The tag steak leg. Okay, honey, pull it out one. <laughs> My hubby is pulling it out. Okay, see, this is this is a very very strong heavy wire and you cut it off and then you make it stay for the tap tap stay this is what we use for the uh, plate our plate and uh, this is what price you buy you buy one of these then you never have to buy another one you can make it you can make it thousands thousands of them the tag you cut small so okay but anyway this is this is what i use <laughs> today 20th february and our daily garden look like this and i still got some this old tag needed to be replaced see old tag so I'm trying to replace one by one see this is old tag and see one is already rotted and and got cut off and then uh, and this one is ready so I'm trying to replace all this old tag with the homemade homemade tag see this one is one we bought it so this is what our daily bed look like 20th february here is what we using for the all uh, tag here honey see? yeah i can i can I just use a two foot level and I do it two feet at a time and it makes a lot of tags. I don't remember exactly how many but it makes a lot. And you don't have to cut it, cut it, but you take a razor knife and you score it. Make sure you score it reasonably deep. So that it'll bend and use a new blade and there you go there you go <laughs> just to cut this piece out Now the size we make are three inch by inch and a half is what our tags are. And so you just mark it And that's your three inch marks. Then you do that on the other side. And then inch and a half. And we'll be back. Okay, he marked it all now. Okay. And then you just score it like you did before.
and you just keep on going down and I'll be back and after you get the first set done then you come back over you don't want to break them all off at one time see who and then just keep keep going back down Okay, here it is all cut up. Oh, it's kind of hard to see. And then you just do it like you did with the other. You fold it. And it just breaks. And it's, it's best to do this with gloves on because uh, aluminum is it's a sharp. Edges can be sharp. And we'll be back. We got it all, and then go ahead and take your pieces. Same thing. Okay. How many you How many you got gathered in there? I've got three. You can do whatever you, you know, whatever will break. Okay. okay. This is what it looked like. So he broke three, two, three, and this is a tag right here now. See. We got, we got lots and lots of tech for that little piece, aluminum. See, he make it. We got three tag in here. Look at all this. I'll put it in here so that people can see. Look at all this tag. See how many he, he's gonna do three at a time. Okay, we got this many, okay. lots, lots of them. Yeah, you can do it. Yeah, we finish it and then uh, you buy one of these then you never have to buy again you can make it thousands thousands of them ready to put it away tension wire from okay this is tension wire from uh what fence tension wire right? yeah for for chain link fence yeah we bought that's all this is yeah we bought the other day and i use a pair of bolt cutters because yeah. it's easier yeah. you got more Okay. Yeah, yeah. And then you just, you just start cut. cutting about anywhere from 10 12 inches. Yeah. Yeah. And just keep cutting around. 
Okay, there's a couple ways you can do this. The way we first start doing it is we just took a punch and had some holes already drilled in my uh, workbench. So we just punch through. You just got to make sure that you make the hole big enough so that the wire will fit through it. And it takes a little bit longer, but that's one way to do it. Okay, and then... Okay, the easiest way to do it, if you've got a drill press, is just take a drill press. Now I'm using a 5 30 seconds drill bit. And that just is big enough so that why how, how many you got how many you put it in there it doesn't matter whatever your how drill many? press will do you know i'm just in this case how many you have in there probably 10. okay but just gonna... you can do you can do more or less it just depends on your drill press i just i just grab some out doesn't matter how many you do. And you just keep going. And each of those panels that I cut initially will make 128 tags. So a two by two panel will make 128 tags. Okay, we cut it all out. And we only have that much left. That's all we have left, we're gonna, we're gonna cut. We cut it all out. This is gonna be our leg. Say something. Okay, we, we had trouble bending the ends of these. And we finally figured out, I just took a couple of screws and screw them into the into the workbench about half an inch apart and then you just take it and bend it around And there you go. Okay, do another one. And you just keep going. We just tap them so that they're a little bit straighter. Take a label. And in this case, we've been doing it here, but I found out that if you put it, I've got an inset where a bolt is holding the table together. I just put it in there. Now, you need to make sure that it's up against, up against the, um, side otherwise these believe it or not the wind will take them and they will shuffle them down and then they'll fall down the rail so just make sure that you're tied against the post so will be looking like this and there it is and once you once you've done it once or twice it'll take you an hour to do all these.
here is the tag. So my tags look like this. Now finish. Okay. Okay, we'll just but finish and look at that how much we made. Okay. See, the full of them. Full of them. This would this would last me for a while. Yep, see it's a big big basket and basket full of tags. We made it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Last one. It took us a um, little over an hour from start. This is what we use for the tag. We order online. This is what we use to put it out. Laser jet. It has to be laser jet. So just to type it in or name and just putting it out just to putting out this I order some more daily it will coming in April and I made it all this tag and uh, waiting for shipment to come. Can't wait.